Hi and welcome back to WTF RC Cars. So, we have got the Little Lossy Mini T. Um, not done many videos of this, other than when I first got it. Uh, mainly due to the fact that the first battery that was supplied with it was actually faulty and I've only just got it replaced. Uh, shout out to uh, Wheelspin Models. Um, they picked up the issue straight away, ran with it and even with everything that's going off now, got me a brand new battery pack sent out. Um, Little, little underwhelmed with this when I first got it, to be honest. I mean, it handles fantastic. Um, the first issue I had with it, although I'd only just bought it, and lost it already acknowledged the issue with the original A-arms, um, still arrived with the faulty A-arms. Um, the first flip-on carpet actually broke the A-arm. Um, had a bit of to-in and throw-in, um... First off, Wheelspin said that they'd never heard of the issue, which I do find odd to believe, but that was their official line on it. Um, got in touch with Horizon, um, European distributor, and explained the issue to them, that it's a known issue to Lossy, and that basically mine had come with the original ones that Lossy had already done an upgrade. And they first off sent me a email link to the website where I could buy some original um, upgrade parts. Uh, I then went back to them and said, well, is this not the case that you're swapping these out? Seems though all the sponsored YouTube videos that I've seen have said, please get in touch with either the shop you purchased it from or the supplier in your area. It's a known issue by Lossy, accepted by Lossy, and they will replace the parts. They then sent me another link to somewhere I could buy one that wouldn't open. Um, and then when I finally got the link to work, you couldn't select a delivery address in the UK. So I explained that to them. They then posted me the upgraded ones out free, um, which you can see are fitted. And I had no issues with these at all. I've uh, done not crazy jumps or anything like that, because I do tend to try and keep my cars in decent condition um but it has had some use i mean uh yeah you can you can see the tires are, are pretty much worn out on it um they are soft compound tires uh can't fault them for that they grip absolutely fantastic and they're not meant to be used on tarmac they're more of a carpet tire um but so i wanted a little bit more speed out of it so Basically, really cheap upgrade, uh, 7200 kV motor and dirt cheap ECS from uh, from Amazon. You can get these for next to nothing if you want to order them from Banggood, but I didn't want to wait that long. I've upgraded the receiver to the FGR4S. Uh, apparently this one's a V2, not sure what they've changed, I'll have to look into that. So I can use it with the Flysky Noble. Mounted the switch back here, really solid. Capacitor is stuck down at the side of the ECS. Um, easily can get battery in and out. Uh, tried to get the weight distribution straight down middle as much as I could. But uh, yeah, quite a difference. So top speed on stock with the 2S LiPo and the stock motor, stock receiver and everything, was around 12 mile an hour. It's more like 25-ish with this setup. Makes it a lot more lively and a lot more fun. Um, to somebody that's buying one of these as a first RC, I would say run it stock, get to grips with how quick it can turn, um, how quick you can make it switch ends as well, breaking too hard. And then once you've had a, a, a little bit of time with it, once it starts feeling too slow for you, this is definitely a worth, worthwhile upgrade. Um, as I said, from Amazon, they're about 26, 27 quid, really quick delivery. And I've seen them as low as £13, I think, for the motor and ECS combo from likes of Banggood or AliExpress. Uh, but yeah, other than the uh, battery issue and the A-arms, fantastic little car. Um, would say that for something that is £140, I would expect less slop in the steering than that and that to that is it's literally just 
poor sized components. Um, there is quite a lot you can do to uh, to fix that. It doesn't actually affect it going forward, but when it's going backwards, it tends to jump side to side. So you, you kind of get this action as it reverses if you're going at any kind of speed. But going forward, it is absolutely fine. Um, can't say that you need to upgrade the stock suspension. Um, maybe if you're doing a lot of really big jumps, you might break the plastic ones. Uh, I would definitely suggest to anybody, when you get this, same as most RCs, strip the shockers and fill them with your choice of shock oil and fill them up properly. Because like most RCs, they're not really topped off. <laughs> and the handling might not be to your, your like, depending on how quick or slow you like your suspension. But for me, it, it's it's quite adequate. Um, handling's pretty good, even with bald tyres. <laughs> they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're not good. Um, one thing I've been considering doing, I've seen you can get the 12mm hex um, upgrade adapters, and I'm wondering if Tamiya M chassis wheels and road tyres would fit. Uh, but if anybody knows if they do or not, or knows of some other wheel and tyre combos you can use on these that are going to give it a bit more life on tarmac, uh, leave it comments below. Um, all in all, I think it's a fantastic little car. For 26, 27 quid, I would say the ECS and motor upgrade is fantastic value for money. Pretty much doubling the top speed of it, even without changing the stock pinion. Um, run time, I think you get about 11 minutes out of it with this setup round about 22 minutes with the stock so it does halve your run time but there is also i mean the stock batteries are 650 milliamp there are plenty out on market 2s batteries that you can buy really cheap that will fit and the between the thousand and fifteen hundred milliamp hour so i mean you get a 1500 milliamp hour in there you're talking possibly half hour run time even on this setup but uh Thanks for watching. If you like, like and subscribe. If you don't, give it a thumbs down and please leave any comments below. Thanks for watching WTF RC Cars. And hopefully, once the restrictions are lifted, we might actually get out and get some videos of these running.